Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we'll be reading for the sun of Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of May 2023. This will be a three-card general reading, so take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to get a personal reading on my website, you can do that by visiting LadyScorpiusTarot.com and checking out the various readings that I offer, as well as the products that I have on there, you guys. I have some beautiful candles on there, some um, spiritual bath, you know, a whole bunch of things. So check it out all information will be in the description box below you guys please subscribe to the channel please give me a big fat thumbs up during this reading so i can get out there in the algorithm because youtube be playing with your girl and yeah if it resonates leave a comment below but this is for my pisces sun moon rising and venus for the month of may once again it's a three card general reading so let's get into it let's see what's going on for my pisces see the energy surround y'all for the month of may Universal Spirit, Angels, Silver, Master, Master, Star, and Goddesses, please give messages for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May, 2023. I speak messages of my love, light, and clarity for my Pisces. What advice do you have for my Pisces spirit? What, what energy surrounds you right now for the month of May, 2023? I ask for you to give messages of my love, light, and clarity for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May, 2023, surrounding their life. What is going on for my Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2023. Two more cards on this bit. Okay, got a card to fill out. For the month of May 2023. Okay. So, okay. Ooh. The overall energy is the world. Oh, I don't like that. So, Leo got the world card, but it wasn't... um. The overall energy, but they had it and they spread it. Some of you guys could be connected to a Leo, but with the overall energy being the world card, you know, number 29, 9, this reduces to 11. So your angels can be guiding you right now, and you could be seeing 1, 1, 1, 11, 11. You know, you can be seeing it a lot, getting spiritual messages. I feel like the angels are trying to guide you towards a new journey, a new beginning. We have the world card being here, okay? So this could be you closing out a cycle, ending a cycle, closing out a chapter that's just maybe it was karmic, maybe it wasn't serving you, maybe it was old and outdated, okay? But this is you guys um realizing that it's something that you need to close out, okay? It's something that's just not working. And... um. The cycle can be old and outdated. It's time for you guys to start a new journey. So let's see what's going on. The first card we have is contract. The second card we have is thinking man. And then we have victory. Automatically when I see contract, thinking man, and victory, I feel like some of you guys can be like going through legal issues right now, Pisces. Okay, maybe something can be closed out. Maybe whatever legalities or issues you're going through, maybe you will get victory if you guys are going to court about something. Um, maybe some of you guys are trying to get be victorious in a situation. Maybe you're trying to put your best hat forward with the thinking man card. You guys could be trying to seek legal advice. You could be talking to your lawyer. You could be researching right now shit. You know, trying to like put whatever, whatever legal stuff that you're going through. It's like you guys are really trying to plan and strategize and make sure things are in order so you can get victory at the end. So if you guys have any legal binding, like if you're getting sued or you're going through a settlement i feel like it's going to work out in your favor with the contract being here okay um whatever legal binding contract that you're in or that you're trying to get justice with it's it's in your favor for sure but i feel like also for some of you guys another group of you guys i'm seeing that some of you guys are waiting for this thinking man to propose to you as you can see he has like um, some type of crystal in his hand or a gem and he's like it looks like he's kind of like trying to contemplate if he's going to propose or give this ring so some of you guys could be connected to somebody whereas though maybe you're going to close out the cycle if this person is not if you don't get victory in the situation and this person does not propose to you or if you don't Guys don't take it to the next level because i feel like with contract being here you guys could be wanting a marriage contract this could be you guys wanting to take things to the next level make it official okay and you're waiting for this thinking man to go ahead and make it happen okay so for some of you guys i'm definitely seeing two different stories all right so but right behind that we had goddess of the moon so it could be some type of like secrets or maybe things that's hidden in the dark that's going to be coming out to the light okay um, cause with, that's number 52, which reduces to seven. That reminds me of seven of swords. So give me some type of secrets or things being hidden. That's going to be revealed. Okay. Let's get into it and see what's going on with these cards. Clarify contract. Ooh. I didn't even get to say the full thing. Yeah. Right behind it. We had three of wands. Some of you guys can leave some right behind, but spirit, con cl clarify contract for my Pisces for the month of May. Why is contract here for my Pisces for the month of May surrounding their life? What advice do you have for them? Why is conflict here? 
clarify conflicts for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May, 2023. Oh, yeah, I said it. Seven of Swords. And what we have, Seven of Swords popping out. So, yeah, some of you guys, there could be some type of sneaky shit going on behind your back about a contract, um, some type of legal shit. You can, some of you guys will not be speaking or hiding some legal shit that you're going through right now. You could be dealing with a person that's going through legal issues and they could not be speaking on you. They could be not, like, telling you the truth about that or hiding this from you with hiding information. Clarify a uh, contract. So, I was contracted for my Pisces for the month of May 2023. Too many cards. Clarify contracts with my Pisces for the month of May 2023. Some of you guys, somebody could be doing something sneaky. I'm seeing that, like, work-related as well. Somebody, for some of you guys, somebody could be doing some sneaky shit surrounding a work contract. Okay, uh, uh, maybe taxes or something like that. Somebody could be doing some sneaky shit. So watch out for some of you guys. If you're working with a shady company, it's going to be doing some illegal shit behind your back, okay? When it comes to maybe your contract or a work contract or something like that. Okay, so that's for a small group of you guys. But for others of you, when I clarify contract, we get the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is never be a soulmate connection, okay? Maybe you guys could be waiting for this person to make an offer with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe your partner, Pisces, they could be waiting for you to make an offer now. Um, maybe to propose to them, give them a ring, you know, engage with them. Because I think right at the bottom, this is like a ring. Like, the cat is looking at a ring right now, but I don't know if you guys can see it. But, yeah, I feel like somebody is waiting for you guys to make some type of offer, whether this is, like, a higher-level commitment, an engagement, maybe, like, a new home, <laughs> some money. This is a soulmate that you connected with. You love this person, but I feel like they're definitely waiting for some type of contract. But they, I feel like somebody's being sneaky about something, or maybe somebody's not speaking the truth about it. There could be some things that's going on behind your bank surrounding this connection. Um, money, an offer a payout, a contract, okay, let's see, clarify the seven of swords, why is the seven of swords here for my Pisces surrounding contract, why is the seven of swords here for my Pisces surrounding contract for the month of May 2023, why is seven of swords, ooh, okay, we have the justice card, yeah, some of you guys, this is definitely you guys are going to court, you'll be talking to a judge, um, the justice card, I feel like some of you guys can be connected to a Leo, I mean a Libra, Okay, but you guys are definitely seeking justice about somebody that's been doing some sneaky shit behind your back. Okay, like I said, I feel like karma, um, karma and justice will work in your favor. So you know, if you guys are trying to seek out the law, like definitely do it the right way. And for others of you guys, this could be a divorce. Maybe if you're not going, this dear person could be waiting for you to make this offer. Yeah, because right behind it we had the Ten of Pentacles that fell out, and we had some other cards that fell out. Let's see. I feel like somebody's waiting for you to make, um, for others of you, if this is a relationship, some of you guys, they're, they're waiting for you to make this offer. Like, are we going to buy a home together? Are we going to make it official? Are we going to get married? Like, I feel like you might have a lot of children with this person, person already. And maybe some of this person's like, this person be like, okay, if we're building, let's move things to the next level. And I feel like, you know, they could be wanting a renewal in love with the Ace of Cups. They could be waiting for an emotional offer. But I feel like with the Queen of Swords being here, the Page of Swords, the Shrimp card, Judgment, Page of Cups, Ten of Wands. This person could also be having conversations like maybe trying to sneak and get information about you, Pisces, to see if they should keep going forward. They could be judging the situation like, okay, if you don't propose to me or make me some type of emotional offer, I'm going to just put the burdens down and just end the situation. Because I feel like you got children with this person with the Page of Cups. This could be talks about children. Some of you guys could have just gave birth or you could have just... Could have been a new addition to the family, but whatever this is, I feel like this person, if you're connect connected to them emotionally, they're feeling like, you know, maybe they're trying to figure out why you're not trying to take things to the next level, why you're not trying to, to you know, give them a ring for some of you guys. Because we have a judgment card, it's like they're trying to look at the situation and make the best judgment, if they should keep going or whatever, or if they should cut it out with the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys are definitely doing for like a Leo. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio. Leo, Sanja, Aries, okay? Towards Virgo, Capricorn. So, yeah, it's a lot of little shit going on with contracts. Okay, let's, go, let's get into the other cards. Let's see. Why is the thinking man here? Clarify the thinking man. Matter of fact, let me get one more clarify for the justice card. Why is the justice card here for my Pisces for the month of May 2023? 
Okay, yeah, the devil card. We got the devil card, the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. Some of you guys, it's like, whatever you're dealing with legally, it definitely costs you a lot of money with the nine of pentacles. You guys could be single, abundant, but if you're in a relationship or whatever, it's just like, this could be like a lot of finances that was being poured into this legal contract. We have the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, so it's like, some of you guys, is like putting too much money or you're investing into a legal situation that's kind of like, you know, you got the money, but it's like, you got to take your money and save it for a rainy day and be well off. You don't want to be taking your money and investing into this legal shit. But I feel like things are, you know, things are going to pay out. I feel like the devil card being here, this whatever this person is doing, whoever you're taking to court or you're in legal issues with Pisces, this person can have like a lot of addictions or they can just not be right mentally. Okay, they can have a lot of de like demonic energy around them or dark energy surrounding them. Or they could just be doing this to drain you financially. They could know they could know that whatever they're doing legally or if they're trying to take you to court or like counter sue you or whatever this is they can know that this could be like draining you okay like legally they know that this financially this is draining you and emotionally is it's like throwing you off like even financially like stability like you good but at the same time it's like they know that it's like you fruitful so it's like they're trying to fuck with you i feel like whoever this person is they got addictions this could be a capricorn towards Virgo capricorn okay we got a lot of earth energy okay they could be trying to fuck with you financially but for other stuff you like with the justice card being here, it's like, yeah, you definitely could be putting in a lot of work to make things fair and balanced in your life and to maybe even sue somebody so you can be fruitful. But like I said, whoever you're up against, this person is the devil. So it's like they got a lot of addictions. They got a lot of tricks up their sleeve. They can be a trickster, okay? They could be doing like some weird ass shit behind your back. And for others of you, you could be connected to a person that's just got a lot of addictions. This could be a person that got a lot of addictions or they might be mentally ill, Okay, and it could be trying to fuck with your stability right now, your finances, your work as well, like your career. All right, clarify. All right, let's see what's going on. Hold on, y'all. Let's clarify these other cards. Clarify thinking, man, for my Pisces for the month of May 2023. Why is thinking man here for my Pisces for the month of May 2023? Clarify thinking man. Why is thinking man here? Why is the thinking man here for my Pisces for the month of May 2023? Yeah, some of you guys definitely connected to somebody got some addictions, okay? Um, and it could be with you for like financial reason, or they could be fucking up your finances. We have the Queen of Pentacles with the thinking the thinking man. So this person could be seeing you as a person that's very stable. That's very um, grounded. That's very nurturing. Like maybe you give a lot to the situation. You could be the breadwinner of the situation. You could be sitting on a lot of money right now or could be very abundant. Um, this person could be just like seeing you as maybe like for some of you guys a cash cow <laughs> or seeing you as very abundant. Okay. Clarify the thinking man. Why is the thinking man here for my Pisces for the month of May 2023? Why is the thinking man here for the... Ooh, okay, we have the King of Swords. Yeah, so some of you guys could be connected to a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This could be like, for some of you guys, this can also be like work-related, like a boss, a CEO. Some of you guys could also be talking, like I said, a lawyer, somebody that's, you know, if this legal issues, you can be talking to somebody that's like, you know, trying to get legal advice, but um, like sound legal advice. Um, yes, you have a lot of money for some of you guys, but it's like, Something could be draining your money financially. Rather, this is like legal issues, taxes, work, um, something with like work. Maybe your job is doing some sneaky shit behind your back. Whatever this is, it could be a lawsuit for some of my Pisces. Um, if not, this can be just a person that you're dealing with um, financially, romantically. That just feels like, you know, logically they feel like it's best to deal with you because they know they're emotionally stable. I mean, they're financially stable there. They know that they're fruitful if they deal with you. But this person can be very cold, very calculated. They don't really express their emotions like that or show their emotions. It could be a genetic Aquarius for some of you guys. But this person is like very much in the head. It um, could be cold and calculated. Um, you could have cut this person off, but they could have cut you off. Yeah, we had the three of swords. Yeah, so this could be a third party situation. Maybe you had to cut this person off as well or they decided to cut you off. Some type of third party situation happened or heartbreak or sorrow for others of you. This is a romantic connection. I'm do, I, I do see third party situation, okay? Maybe you cut this person off because you realize this person just wanted the financial, you know, gain that you had. Like, they only wanted you for financial reasons but not for true love, okay? Clarify the three of swords. Why is the three of swords different from my Pisces? Some of you guys in Venus for the month of... Okay, yeah, the tower card. Some of you guys could be done for Scorpio. 
Okay, it doesn't have to be. But yeah, this some of you guys with the towel card, it's like something that was not built on a solid foundation. Like whatever this is, it's not solid. It's not a solid foundation. If some of you guys, this is a legal issue. If you're going to court, the judge is going to rule in your favor because you're going to come as more concrete and solid and stable. And this person, whoever, you know, they're going to, and the judge is going to see that this person that you're dealing with or that you're in legal issues with, they're just emotionally unstable and unbalanced. And they can see that the, the judge or the courts will see that whatever this person is doing is to basically fuck with you emotionally, okay? To betray you, to backstab you, and it's, they don't have substantial evidence or substantial proof to stand on this case, and so it'll be an unfaulty situation. Well, the situation will be just not unstable, unbalanced, nothing to sustain, and it will work in your favor. That's what I'm seeing for some of you guys with the Tower card, the Three of Swords, the, the um, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. But for other, others of you, if this is a relationship, I'm seeing, like, yeah, you guys could have cut somebody out because this person just wanted to come after you financially it's like they only cared like about how they can benefit the situation and you made it fair and balanced and you decided like you don't want to deal with any third party situations or betrayal or heartbreak and you felt like the situation wasn't even stable okay you could have this person could have had a choice between you and somebody else with the uh, lover's card gemini energy so this could have been a choice between you and somebody else okay even though you had like a, a strong soulmate or you know twin flame connection with this person i just feel like this person put you through a lot yeah, because with the 6 and the 4, 46, that equals to 10. So this could be like an ending as well. All right, clarify the Lovers card. Why is the Lovers card here for my Pisces for the month of May 2023? Yeah, and the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you guys are walking away from somebody that was like a playboy or a playgirl. This person is like, you know, in and out of the connection, very flighty. They probably come in for like great sex and passion or whatever addictions. And then they move on to the next person and they come on in. So yeah, you guys had to sit there and think about it. And you, you found out what was best for you was to walk away from the situation. And if you have not, it's time for you guys to really like, you know, look at the situation for what it is and walk away so you can go towards your victory okay clarify the victory card why is the victory card here for my pisces for the month of may 2023 yeah we have the king of wands okay so some type of leadership ball ceo so you guys this is victory and a job um victory okay victory when, you, when it comes to work and your stability okay maybe you guys will be able to if this is a court case, you guys are definitely going to be work. It's going to work in your favor. You'll be able to um, sit there and enjoy the cake. <laughs> Eat your cake and enjoy it too, okay? You guys are going to be, um, you know, if, as far as the money, you're going to be good to find, you know, business and money is going to be good for you. Um, for others of you, like I said, you're going to be getting victory with the situation. Um, some of you guys can be like getting victory, moving into your own place. If you're leaving the situation behind, if you're moving away from a partner, maybe you guys will be getting victory and just focusing on your career, bossing up, maybe getting a new job, maybe starting your own business. Um, and I feel like it's going to really pan off for you and do, it's going to be well, you know, it's going to bring a lot of money and opportunity and stability. Okay. Some of you guys also could be dealing with a person. You could be meeting somebody that's into business. Um, that's very stable and solid that could be moving towards you. Yeah, we have a five one. So this could be like gossiping, you know, a lot of gossiping surrounding maybe your money, your, your, your stability, what's going on in the community. This could be community gossip as well. Pisces, maybe you're going to do something, but you're going to get victory. You know, all the gossip and chitter chatter are going to work out in your favor because you're going to be able to, like I said, get victory and things are going to work in your favor with the justice card okay so whatever gossip or betrayal or fights or arguments that you're that you're going through with family relation if that this is relationship family business work it's going to work in your favor okay yeah you're feeling really like burnt out and left out in the cold with a situation financially you could be investing into a lot of shit if this is legal situation or relationship you could have poured a lot into this like relationship or this job whatever it is left you felt is leaving you feel like you're burnt out okay and high priestess just like you know that you need to put an ending to it some of you guys you could be ending a relationship or a marriage or connection okay um, or this could be like a family dynamic, something family related that you can be letting go. Um, but the high priestess, you know, intuitively it's time for you to move towards something new. Like it's time for you to put the burdens down with the nine of swords. I feel like you guys can be in your head a lot. You could be stressed out, losing sleep, overwhelmed, you know, going through like anxiety, depression. But like you guys need to stay positive. Okay. And know that brighter days are ahead. Okay. Yeah, brighter days are here. You can be able to celebrate with the three of cups and you can be able to move forward with peace with the six of swords. Okay. So you guys are just need to like stay vigilant with the knight of the knight of wands or knight of swords. It could be communication that's coming off really hasty and fast, but you guys need to stay vigilant. Okay, know that victory is yours. 
You guys can be going through some type of financial shit right now. You could be going through some legal shit that got you caught, all caught up and all tied up financially. Or you could be done with a person who puts you through a lot of financial burdens. But things are going to work in your favor, okay? You guys are just need to move forward and manifest and let this shit go. Alright, so give me a, a crystal card for my Pisces. What crystal should they be working with for the month of May? Surrounding the situation. Lapis Luzo. Wow, this is the first time I've seen this card in this deck. But Spirit is saying you guys should work with Lapis Luzo. It said balance is what this stone can help bring. Okay, harmonizing your mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical selves. It brings inner peace. When it's used in meditation, this beautiful stone opens the third eye chakra and allows you to see inside of yourself and you'll see the real you. So, like, yeah, a lot of you guys, you need to use your intuition. I told you the high priestess came out. But, yeah, laugh is loser. You guys need to get that. I got some on me right now. It's a beautiful stone to help you connect with your intuition. You guys, are, it's going to help you balance out your spiritual, emotional, physical cells and mental cells. Um, you guys are really need to work with this because I feel like you can feel a little unbalanced due to all the things that you're going through right now. The spirit is saying that, you know, stay balanced, uh, meditate, you know what I'm saying? Get some sleep, get some rest, you know, stay vigilant, okay? And things are going to work out, okay? I feel like you guys are also going through some type of spiritual awakening right now. So it's a lot of negativity that you need to fight off, but you you got the strength to overcome this, okay? Victory would definitely be yours. It's, it's an ending that you're going through right now, in spirit saying, but ultimately, you know, you win at the end, Pisces, all right? So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment below, and I will see you guys next month. Peace.